In this video, we're going to see how we can install the IC Sim Simulator on Kali Linux. Your car has many systems that must communicate with each other in order to run properly, just like a water treatment plant, power generation system, or any other sophisticated infrastructure system. Vehicles are well-integrated machines that rely on internal computing and communication across various components. Car hacking has become a significant concern in recent years. A hacker can potentially gain control of a vehicle's critical systems, causing damage to property and human life. This has prompted researchers to study ways to mitigate these vulnerabilities and protect users from potential attacks. One such approach is the use of IC-SIM, a simulation tool for industrial control systems. IC-SIM can be used to simulate a car's electronic control units, which are responsible for controlling various subsystems such as the engine, brakes, and steering. By using IC-SIM, researchers can identify vulnerabilities and test security measures against car hacking attacks. The CAN bus plays a pivotal role in vehicle automation, serving as the nervous system of the vehicle's electronic components. It enables data exchange among critical systems such as the engine control unit, transmission control unit, anti-lock braking system, and more. The CAN bus has revolutionized the automotive industry, making modern vehicles smarter by assisting drivers with early warning systems and, in some cases, enabling self-driving capabilities. However, the open architecture of the CAN bus poses several security challenges. If a malicious actor gains access to a vehicle's network, they can pose severe risks to the safety of its occupants. Therefore, securing the CAN bus against unauthorized tampering is crucial. In this activity, we will analyze the CAN protocol using the Instrument Cluster Simulator. This tool, developed by the Open Garages organization, allows analysts to test and experiment with various CAN bus interactions. It provides a basic interface that simulates ECUs in a vehicle and generates sample data. For example, by pressing the left arrow key on the keyboard, we can mimic a left blinker signal which generates corresponding ECU data on the CAN bus. Now, let's go step-by-step -step to install IC-SIM on Kali Linux. First, we need to download the required packages to ensure everything runs smoothly. Once that's done, we'll clone the IC-SIM repository from GitHub. After that, we navigate into the IC-SIM directory. Now, Run the setup script. It will automatically set up our CAN bus interface. After that, use the make command to compile and install the necessary files. Once the installation is complete, we can launch the simulator along with the control module. And just like that, our IC sim setup will be up and running, allowing us to analyze CAN bus data in a simulated environment. This is just the beginning. Once the simulator is running, we can interact with it, test different scenarios, and gain deeper insights into vehicle security. Now, let us see the demonstration. Let's start by opening the IC Sim GitHub repository. Here, we have detailed installation instructions for setting up the simulator. The first step is to install the required packages. Simply copy the command from the instructions, Open a new terminal in Kali Linux and run it. This will automatically install all the necessary dependencies. If you encounter an error during installation, it may be due to outdated repositories. To fix this, run the command sudo apt update. Once the update is complete, Try running the installation command again, and it should work smoothly. Next, we need to clone the IC SIM repository from GitHub.
Once the cloning is done, navigate into the IC sim directory using the cd command. Now, we'll run the setup script. This script will automatically generate a virtual CAN bus interface for us. To verify that the interface has been created, we can use the if config command. If everything is set up correctly, we should see our CAN interface listed. The final step is to compile the necessary files. Simply run the make command and it will build everything required for the simulator. And that's it. Our installation is now complete. The IC Sim Simulator is ready to run, and we can start analyzing CAN bus data. Now, let's run the simulator and start the control interface. First, copy the command from the GitHub instructions and run it in Kali. This will launch the simulator, and we'll see a car dashboard appear on the screen. Next, open another terminal tab and run the command to start the controls. This will bring up an Xbox-like virtual controller. We can now use this controller to interact with the car. For example, if we press the up arrow key to accelerate, we'll see the speed increase on the dashboard. If we press the left or right arrow keys, the turn signals will start flashing, just like in a real car. To analyze the CAN bus traffic, we can use Wireshark. Simply open Wireshark. Select the CAN bus interface and start capturing packets. You'll notice a continuous stream of data, but unlike traditional network traffic, there are no source or destination addresses. That's because CAN bus operates as a broadcast system, meaning all messages are sent to every component on the network. Another tool we can use to monitor CAN traffic is CAN dump. Running the command CAN dump C, Interface name will display live CAN bus data directly in the terminal, giving us real-time insights into the messages being transmitted. So in this video, we learned how to install the IC Sim Simulator, control a virtual car dashboard, and monitor CAN bus traffic for automotive security research.